Good morning everyone. Today I would like to talk about the method coming to split your data to train, training sets and test sets uh, we use in the QSAP model. And here I uh, I show you the paper they published on the cell press and they use the coming put the method to separate the data. Uh, in here if you look at the methods the order uh, mentioned that uh, uh, after the use the principal component acid to choose the covariate important covariates and after that they use the common methods to uh, separate the data and here there is the order so let me see in here let me see in here yeah the order use the common method to separate the data to the training set and test sets. Uh, in here, I uh, summarize the how the orders uh, did these methods. In here, they separate uh, around ten uh, clusters, and each cluster, uh, the order will randomly select uh, around 20 uh, twenty percent for the test sets and eighty percent for training sets. And if you look at the uh, the method, the order mentioned in the paper let me show you in here the order mentioned uh, said that uh, after they uh, after they use the, um, the coming methods the training set and test set would grow around 80% and 20% uh, so after that they um, uh, they will set randomly select around 20% of data for the test sets and 80% for transcends. So today I uh, will show you how to um, run the coming test in the Excel files. Uh, uh, in the Excel uh, with the Excel task uh, additional function. The first time you need to download it. So in here you need to go to the Google and you write down the X task download. So after that you can see here uh, if you want to uh, have a, a 14 trial you only click the uh, this link and you click the download for Windows or download for Mac uh, depend on your computer and in here I download for the Windows and after that you run and you can see you have uh, open your the Excel file and you can see the ad additional uh, function uh, Excel task so in here I will include data in the um, in the comments uh, in the big video so in here I have around 33 compounds 33 compounds and in here I have around uh, um, the outcomes uh, I see 50 and here I have around 8 covariates for, uh, including molecular surface area molar volumes and log P and log D so in here we need to focus on the outcomes and the first one I um, I go to the littering data here and I choose the coming looters and in here I need to choose the outcomes and here I check the PIC 50 to be my um, my outcomes data and after that I click the column label because you can see here the first uh, rows is uh, the labels not data I click the column label and in here, I uh, the distance uh, distability index. I choose the elucidance distance, and the cluttering criteria. I choose the determinants, uh, and uh, uh, the number of clusters. Uh, based on the previous study, I choose from one to ten. And after that, I click the option because you know uh, our data is, uh, is uh, the rows because we have around thirty three uh, compounds. I choose the cluster rows. And I put the um, initial portion just random, and the uh, repetition around three, uh, 100, and interaction and covariation co co I put around uh, 500 and uh, maybe around um, one per 1000. And missing data because in here I don't have any missing data, so I did not uh, I click the do not accept missing data. If you have any uh, missing data, you need to remove observation or estimate missing data with mean or nearest neighbor. And the last one is uh, the outcomes. Uh, in here, I 
show the whole information about glutes, especially collagen uh, centroids, and uh, see how these uh, score very important because the glutes will separate by this course. And the last one, we need to show the whole chart to see that uh, which the compound belong to the which glutes. So after that, you click OK. So uh, after they run around um, 100 repetition, repeat, uh, repetition, and you can go down. They have a lot of information here. For example, ev evolution of criteria. Uh, they make the graph like that. But uh, a lot of information here I did not. Uh, I don't want to mention. You go. You clone uh, the, um, the the data uh, until the end of the data because we have ten glutters in here. Uh, we need to focus on this chart. Uh, uh, this chart because as I mentioned before, right? We select the cell uh, cell health T score, and as you can see here, uh, after we uh, click here, we see that around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, com uh, eight compounds belong to glutter one. Ah, uh, here I'm sorry, here only eight glutters, and we need to go to the the last one. The last one here, yeah, this here uh, we have nine glutters. And in here we have ten glutters. Sorry. One minute. Uh, here we have ten glutters. Very careful. And in here you can see around uh, eight compounds belong gluter one. And in here we have around three compounds belong gluter two. And here we have around three compounds belong gluter three. So uh, as I mentioned before, right? Uh, if after we run this uh, gluter methods and we around. Uh, separate around 80% for training set and 20% for test set uh, because you know uh, we have around let me see we have around 20% uh, 20% uh, blood with you know 33 compound it means that around 7 compounds uh, for the test set so here I select around uh, the, um, the compound 31 compound 20 compound uh, 4 uh, for compound 22 uh, here it means that here they belong to glutters gluter right gluter mm. uh, the gluter 1 gluter 2 gluter 3 gluter 4 uh, and 5 6 yeah and 7 right and here a uh, 2 uh, and let me see compounds here compounds compounds yeah and uh, here a 22 sorry and next we have the put the 6 e 26 26 and here the 7 i think i put around put the uh, uh, 7 e uh, 16 16 and the last one e put 10 maybe i maybe put 10 here for uh, 29 so did the uh, did the compound for the test 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 and the remain one remain remain compounds for the the uh, for the training training sets so uh, in here you will uh, uh, you will uh, select compound for your uh, data analysis for further analysis for here for example I will uh, mark it here around here for example I go home here for the trend sets 20 20 for the trend sets 29 for the trend sets some kind of thing like that until we reach the seven compounds so in in this in these videos uh, I show you how to uh, sep separate the data to the training sets and test set by timing methods uh, this is very important and after that you can run your your data your uh, this data for further analysis i hope this video will help you uh, understand about coming methods for quiz study thank you for listening